name is Inodafa Frimpon, and welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief, brought to you by... Have you thought of having access to your news at any time and anywhere? Graphic Communication is giving you the opportunity to have news not only in hard copy but also in a digital form. Yes, you can have access to news at all times and even before they reach the newsstands. Simply download the Graphic News Plus from Google Play Store on your Android and App Store on your iOS device and get your digital news from your favorite daily graphic, graphic business, the mirror, graphic showbiz, junior graphic, and graphic sports. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. In the headlines, campaign for the December 17th referendum intensifies. Assistant Superintendent of Police, Dr. Benjamin Agojo, who has been accused of aiding a coup plot, has once again been denied bail. And the Auditor General, Mr. Daniel Yao Demolovo, is challenging Yoko's mandate to investigate procurement breaches. The campaign for the December 17, 2019 national referendum on whether or not political parties should be allowed to sponsor candidates for local level elections is picking up. On Monday afternoon, the new Patriotic Party at a press conference had this to say in reaction to a similar press conference held by the opposition NDC last week. A yes vote will strengthen our multi-party democracy consistent with our constitution. A yes vote will strengthen our system of decentralized, decentralized local government by providing a coordinated and organized political system. A yes vote, ladies and gentlemen, will provide greater opportunity for citizens of voting age to participate in political activities intended to influence policies at the local government level. A yes vote will make the constitutional mandate imposed on political parties to freely participate in shaping the political will of the people, especially at the local level. Meanwhile, a statement by the National House of Chiefs calling for a no vote in the upcoming referendum has stirred controversy. The Ocheng Hine Osajifu Amwete of Oripeni II, in a statement on Monday, urged the yes vote as against what the National House of Chiefs is proposing. Also at the center of the disagreement are the president of the National House of Chiefs, Togbe Afeather the 14th, and his vice, Dasebre Nana Ewusi the 7th, on one side, and the paramount chief of Sehuya Nyaso traditional area, who is also chairman of the governance committee of the National House of Chiefs, Oji Ahohuo Yaojebi. Meanwhile, the Legal Affairs Committee of the National House of Chiefs has denied claims that it advised the institution to adopt a no vote. The chairman of the Legal Affairs of the committee, Nana Susubibi Krobia Asante, in a radio interview on Monday, had this to say. We did not specifically advise uh, a no vote. So I was thinking of uh, uh, suggesting to my colleagues that maybe we should have an emergency, um, at least standing committee meeting, uh, so that we can try this thing out. ACP Dr. Benjamin Agojo, who has been accused of being involved in a coup plot, has once again been denied bail by the Accra High Court. In a ruling on Monday, the court presided over by Justice George Buedi held that the application was premature because investigations were still ongoing. According to the court, ACP Agojo was a senior police officer who could likely interfere with investigations when granted bail. And to our last story, Mr. Daniel Yao Demolevo has written to the Economic and Organized Crimes Office explaining that he will no longer cooperate in the investigations into alleged procurement breaches at his office. The Auditor General has been accused of corruption by a private citizen who lodged a complaint with Yoko in connection with procurement of some vehicles for the Ghana Audit Service. In a letter to Yoko dated November 18, 2019, Mr. Domelevo argued that Yoko had no mandate to investigate procurement breaches as that power has now been given to the special prosecutor. 
He said after a careful reading of the enabling law of Yoko, he is of the firm belief that Yoko does not have the mandate to investigate any breaches under the Procurement Act. He is therefore demanding an unqualified apology from Yoko. Meanwhile, Yoko in a reaction has told Graphic Online that Mr. Domelevo cannot sit in the comfort of his office and make arguments and that if he has any issues, the courts are the better place to make them. For more news, log on to graphic.com.gh and follow us via Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Dafa Frempon. Thank you for watching.